How the Space Rangers, Captain Phoenix here, back with another review. Today we're talking about Star Wars, The Mandalorian. Finally, oh my god, it has taken so long to talk about this show. So, Season 2 has uh, just come out, or at least the first two episodes of Season 2. I've only seen the first episode, I haven't seen the second one, so I can't do a review for that one. Though I am sticking to my promise, I promised you guys I would review... Every episode of The Mandalorian Season 2, and today is Episode 1. So, again, I haven't seen Episode 2, so I can only talk about Episode 1 today. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, we'll get there soon, we'll get there soon. Anywho, let's talk about The Mandalorian real quick. Let's talk about Season 1. Season 1, I really mm, enjoyed Season 1. What threw me off about it was that it wasn't a serialized show, and considering how most shows these days are more serialized, with a cliffhanger at the end of each episode, I'm looking at you, Netflix! So, it was a pleasant surprise to see that this show wasn't serialized. It was more episodic, with each episode having its own story, except for, like, the last three, two or three. So, that's fine. The last two or three episodes of season one. So, I found season one to, again, be an enjoy entertaining season. It was an enjoyable show. I liked it beginning to end, and I was pumped for what would come in the next season. So, today, I got around to watching season two. Um, we get the recap of what happened at the end of season one, and uh, let me just say... This episode has completely nothing to do with it. So let's talk about what I liked, what I didn't like, and let's get right into it. So first things first, this episode takes place on Tatooine. Yay! Everything Star Wars has to somehow tie to this goddamn planet. What is so special about it? Um, but what I really did like about this episode is that I connected to it more than I did the other episodes. Not because of the mere fact that it takes place on Tark Twin, but because of the fact I read the Obi-Wan Kenobi book and that took place on Tark Twin. It talked about how Obi-Wan killed a crate dragon and I'm like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. In this episode, um, Din Djarin, the Mandalorian, takes on a crate dragon <laughs> and that thing is so much bigger than I expected. Why is it so big? But let's talk about it piece by piece. So, as we know, the Mandalorian is a bounty hunter who goes from place to place collecting money. And he finds Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda has been hunted by the Empire, so, Man uh, so Mando, that's what you'll call him, that's his nickname, Mando has to protect the baby. And so he decides to go to Tatooine to find another Mandalorian who will help him find a Jedi to take the baby to. The problem is he doesn't find a Mandalorian, but instead finds this guy, whose name I don't remember. So I'm just going to call him Cowboy Boba. That's his name. So he takes him to Cowboy Boba, and um, Cowboy Boba is not a Mandalorian, so he just says, okay, give me your armor, I'll go find other Mandalorians. So Cowboy Boba is like, okay, so you gotta help me kill a dragon first, this crate dragon, it's been terrorizing the area. And then Mando's like, okay, we can do that. They team up with some sand people, and through some video game stuff, they kill the dragon. So what I like, what I didn't like. What I liked is that this episode is it's a joke to the end of season one. Like the end of season one was hinted that this season is gonna be like so plot heavy, but then the first episode of this season just it it's not even filler. It's just its own thing. Like a filler episode would be boring. This one wasn't boring. It's just an episode that took a break from the story. It pretended like the story of the past season didn't exist, which I both loved and hated. Cause again, I hate it cause. I'm more used to serialized shows, and when this one just completely took a, a step aside from the main series, I was like, but that's illegal. <laughs> so, yeah, but regardless, I enjoyed this first episode. It was really done well because, again, it took, aside from, it took a step from the main story, and I feel like some parts of this episode will come in the future, so I don't mind it. Again, um, it was really done well. I love the pacing of this episode um 50 minutes that's 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 a nice amount of time that's the that's the time i'm enjoying <laughs> so let's yeah so again it just spits in the face of the last season which i both liked and hated again as i mentioned i the crate dragon um climax part of the episode where they're fighting the dragon that felt like both a video game and an 80s show i know george lucas based ours off um Flash Gordon, which was a thing in like the 60s and 70s, but the climax of this episode just, it's, what the hell? It feels like it, like it came from an 80s show, like look at this and tell me this isn't from like some 80s show or some video game. It is so off-putting, it's so random. Um, but yeah, I like, again, the creative dragon size, like, what the hell is that thing? Like, according to the book I read, Kenobi killed that thing with his lightsaber. This thing, you need the entire empire to take it down. It's crazy. 
um, I like the sand people. I like how they're more humanized here. Before they were treated as the bad guys or like just some baboons you could kill. Here they actually treated as humans and there was just this scene I loved where they're like giving some smelly water to Cowboy Boba and they're like, oh, okay, so you can steal the water we have, but you will take the water we give you. I was like, oh, wow, that, that speaks volumes. Um, I lo- Baby Yoda, cute as ever here. Just look at the guy, he's so cute. Hi. And I absolutely loved him. Again, this episode, not really a lot to say about it because it doesn't really tie into the main story. All I can say is the effects are great, especially for a TV show. Um, but that's what you get when you're under Disney, am I right? Uh, I love the characters such as the Sand People, Cowboy Boba, and um, and Mando himself. They're, they're all good. The Creative Dragon, it looks amazing. Why is it so big? And uh, yeah, no, I just love all the stuff about Tatooine. And again, being the Star Wars fan I am, I love all these little Easter eggs you were able to sprinkle in there. And the fact that I even read the Kenobi book just makes things so much better because I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even notice. Uh, no, I noticed all these things that no average Star Wars girl would notice. And then at the end of the episode, there's this mysterious character who just Boba go away as he's carrying like, the dragon meat and the armor. And then he turns around and I'm like, this guy, this guy, he looks like Boba, or at the very least, I'm predicting he's Boba, because we've never seen Boba's actual face, so I'm like, I'm predicting this guy is the actual Boba Fett, because like, we have a Sarlacc pit, we have the dragon, and we have the armor, I'm like, Boba's gonna make a comeback, Boba Fett is gonna be in this show, and it's gonna be so good, uh, but nothing's confirmed, but I would love to see episode 2 as of yet, so, all in all, love this episode, it was a great start to the season, and I would give it a nice 8 out of 10. Those are my thoughts on The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 1. Let's hope the rest of the season can be as good as this. But please, I'm begging you. I know it's not your part. I know it's not part of the plan. And I know you want to do something that not a lot of shows do. But at least try to be a bit more serialized. I don't mind the episodic stuff. But just just be a bit more serialized. Please. Oh no, that's all I gotta say for today. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Do all that great stuff. I've been Captain Phoenix. You've been reminded what to do because you're all dumb dumbs. I'm just messing. I love you. But seriously, just one like or a comment. And all in all, thank you so very much for watching. I've been Dr. Phoenix. And with that, I will see you in another universe.